I'm going to change the fuel filter on the Volvo. There's a few things to take off before you get to the filter. This bracket is held on with four bolts and it comes off. This wiring plug. These three fuel connections. That's the uh, fuel line back to the fuel tank. This is the fuel line from the fuel tank through the filter and out of the filter. That wiring plug comes off. Drain nipple down here. And an air bleed nipple there. There's also one fixing screw I've taken out here. That goes into the side of the filter body. It also holds the clip on for this wire. So now the filter body should be loose. First time I changed this filter, I had problems with an airlock in here. I think I undid one of these fuel connections first. So this time I'm going to undo the return fuel connection first. I think what happened before was when I undid this one first, the fuel in that pipe flowed back into the fuel tank and siphoned the fuel out of this line, caused an airlock. So if I undo that one first. I think that'll be better. Now I'm going to start dismantling the filter. I'm going to turn to the return fuel line connection first to stop any siphoning into this pipe. And I shall undo the bleed nipple. Then I shall drain a bit of fuel at the drain nipple at the bottom. The alternator is down here, so I put a wad of paper to soak the fuel up. I'm not going to be draining much out, I'm just going to lower the level in here. Before undoing this return fuel coupling, I've lifted the fuel pipe out of the clips. And I've tied it up so that it's higher than the rest of the system. So that when I undo it, I shouldn't get any spillage. When I undo that, the fuel in this line is going to siphon back into the fuel tank. I've got that coupling undone and this line is still few, full of fuel. This is where you don't want airlocks. When I undid this I did hear the fuel in that line run back into the tank and I heard the air going in behind it. So now I'm going to slacken the bleed screw on the top and drain a little bit of fuel out the bottom. Catch it in that paper down there. Drain some fuel out. Got these connections undone.
this line is still for full of fuel which is what I want this must be kept clean you don't want any dirt in that line this is the filter that's going to go in and you also get um, some plastic plugs so I'm going to put a plastic plug in there just to stop anything dropping in now I'm going to lift the top of the fuel body off this unscrews I've unscrewed the filter body so this will lift out I'll let that drain for a minute or two. Now I'm going to lift the bottom half of this filter body out and I can tip the fuel out and clean it out inside. This will just lift up now. Got that cleaned out. I've also taken the little drain nipple out and I've cleaned that. I've blown that out with an airline. Make sure there's no bits in there. So that can go back into the car. Tip some clean fuel back into the filter body. That's the new filter, and that neck there just pushes into that hole. That's ready to go back on. Put a new rubber seal on there. I've smeared a little bit of grease on the rubber to get rid of the friction when it screws back on. Got that back together with all the fuel lines connected. Now I'm going to suck the air that's in here, suck it out through the bleed nipple. I'll put a piece of clear tubing on there. I'll put a bit of PTFE tape around that thread or else I'll just be sucking air through the thread. That's the thread sealed. Screw that in a little bit. Well, I'll screw it all the way and then loosen it a bit. Right, that's down. Undo it a couple of turns. Well, that'll do. Now I shall um, suck the air out, which should bring the fuel up this line out of the fuel tank and fill this up to the top and um, tighten the nipple back up again
put a clear piece of tube onto the bleed nipple. Now I'll suck on there until I see fuel coming up here. And that should have got rid of all the air out of here. Apart from this little bit here. There's not much you can do about that. Right, got the air out of there. That's full of fuel. Up to there. There's still going to be a little air pocket in this bit, up to that bend. This fuel line here is still full of fuel. All the way to the fuel pump. So the car should start, but if I think when this airlock here gets to the pump, I've got a feeling it's going to stop again. The engine did start, but it stopped. We got fuel in this line. So there's no air pocket here, but there's an air pocket in this bit. So the air pocket that was in here has moved into the fuel pump. So now I've got to try and get rid of that. So I'm going to disconnect the fuel return pipe, which goes back to the tank and pull a vacuum on this pipe. With a bit of luck I should be able to draw the air pocket through the pump by pulling a vacuum on, on this pipe. Right, I'm going to try this. I haven't got a, um, an ideal vacuum pump. So what I've done, I've threaded a piece of clear hose through the middle of a vacuum cleaner hose and that goes inside the vacuum cleaner tub into a, into a bottle. So um, I'll be pulling the vacuum on there and if I restrict that opening there I'll create a greater vacuum inside this tube Let's see if that works right, I've got that set up switch it on
see some children up that pipe there. See the towel start. Yeah, I'll start it. I'll um, reconnect that pipe. Leave that run for a while. There's still some air bubbles in the system. Starting to clear now. So that should be okay. I'll finish putting the everything back together. It's fit to go on here. And the bracket on the top here. Put all that back together. Using that vacuum cleaner isn't ideal. Certainly wouldn't be safe with petrol. Petrol fumes going through there wouldn't be very good.